There has been a possible Pokemon Day leak on 4chan. It's most likely fake, but I wanted to go through it, you know, just in case it's not. And I think there's some really interesting talking points here. The post claims that two new video games from the main series will be announced, one of them being developed by Game Freak and the other by Ilka, who are the developers behind Brilliant what? Diamond and Shining Pearl. The first one will take place in Unova, where we will return to the Blueberry Academy as a new character. Petrarant will play a significant role in the plot, along with some characters from Scarlet and Violet, and the theme of multiverses will be explored, opening new possibilities never seen before in Pokemon. Immediately off the bat, this looks so fake. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, it, it's got some interesting things to talk about. I mean, exploring the theme of multiverses is a thing they've already touched on with Legends Arceus and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And with the whole multiverse timeline stuff they're talking about, this could also be a way to introduce more Paradox Pokemon, especially Generation 5 Paradox Pokemon. And I, I think Generation 5 Pokemon really needs some more love. But even some other Pokemon like, you know, Crustle, Ferrothorn, or even a, like a past Paradox form of the Elemental Monkeys that's, you know, some ancestor to all three of them. And also Petrant playing a significant role in the story? Uh, I don't think a mythical has ever- oh wait no, Legends Arceus. Okay, but I don't think mythicals usually have a main role in, in many Pokemon stories. It would be cool, I'd love to see more of Petrarun. Especially with the new trailer, I, 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 it closes with something like, uh, hopefully Petrarun will find its old couple again. Perhaps it rests there still, so it can finally grant the old couple's wish. I suppose that could be a, a hint towards a future game where Petrarant is the, a, a main antagonist or protagonist or whatever. Scarlet and Violet's protagonist, uh, Juliana and Florian, I believe their names are, they will also return apparently, and you'll have to face them at the end of your adventure. If you have a saved game on your console with DLC 2 completed, the game will import your data so the character will have the same Pokemon as yours. That is actually kind of cool. And that is something they, I think, kind of touch on in Black and White 2 with Memory Link. Yeah, in, in Black and White 2, you can connect your original Black and White games, and if you've completed the games, you get a bunch of new cutscenes and stuff. It will be really cool to see them build on that. And I think that's really something they should have done, should have done ages ago. It's been over 10 years since Black and White. They've had so much time to expand on that feature, and they never did. The second up coming Pokemon game is a Gold and Silver remake that will feature crystal enhancements, plot changes, and the return of real-time day and night cycles. The storyline will incorporate time travel, linking it to the Scarlet, Violet, and Unova games. I'm guessing this is the one Ilka's apparently working on. Um, game Freak left several clues about these games in the Scarlet and Violet DLCs and Detective Pikachu Returns, and some fan theories are correct. There's a little dot in the back of my head that makes me want to believe this because it is true the Game Freak have left hints like this. I mean I believe the only Paradox Pokemon, the only Pokemon to get two Paradox forms are Pokemon from Generation 2 or Generation 5 which is of course Johto and Unova and the Paradox Legendary Pokemon are Legendary Beasts from Johto and the Swords of Justice from Unova. And with the Unova game supposedly focusing on the multiverse and you know the Johto game focusing on time travel, that is yet another way to introduce more Paradox Pokemon. And you know, maybe Gen 2 Pokemon have, have, have gotten a lot of love already, but I still think there's some that really, there could be really cool Paradox forms. I mean, like Togepi, I've seen some really cool Paradox Togepi fan art before. Mareep, Azumarill, Pseudo Wudo, there's so many to choose from. Okay, I could list more, but we'd be here forever. I'm just trying to say there could be some really cool Paradox Pokemon opportunities in these games, if they were real. Uh, a new language will be added to Pokemon games, Latin American Spanish, thanks to a campaign started by fans. The opening of a Pokemon Center in Mexico will be announced with plans to expand to other countries in South America. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will have a re-release with improved graphics and performance for the Switch 2, and it will include both DLCs. That last part I can believe, because I think there was a leak about a year ago for last Pokemon Day, which pretty much got everything correct, and the only thing was the, the they said, I think they said the Indigo Disc would come out with the Switch 2 and would feature graphical updates, but it, it, it didn't, so I could see, the, see that being something, you know, they had to delay. There's news about Generation 10 here, which makes me doubt it even more, because I I don't think elements, I, I don't get me wrong, they are developing Generation 10 right now, whether that's coding or whether that's just, you know, the planning phase. But I don't think anything's solidified yet, B but who knows. This leak says, in these new games, the story of Unova and Johto will be connected to the future Generation 10, which will take place in Australia. 
and it will be announced on February 27th, 2025 for the Switch 2. It would make sense for Generation 10 to not be in Europe, because god, they've had a they've had a strong focus on Europe for the past 10 years. But for them to already have a release date for Generation 10 and an announcement date for Generation 10, I just I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I do imagine Generation 10 will come out in 2025 or 2026. According to the pattern, it should be 2025, but there are a lot of people who think they might delay it a year so it coincides with the 30th anniversary for Pokemon. There's a lot of, a lot of <laughs> big claims here, huh? Uh, there'll be more announcements for the mobile games and they'll also talk about the release of Pokemon Horizons in the West, but this is the most notable information. I think that's definitely a sign of, of you know, these fake leaks. They just go, oh yeah, there'll be more announcements for the mobile games because when they're making stuff up, they, you know, they don't play the mobile games. Who plays the mobile games? So they, they, they don't really have anything to go off, so they can't make anything up. So they just say, oh, there'll be, there'll be more stuff, you know? And this, this is such a nitpick. I know by the West, they just mean America, but the UK already has Pokemon Horizons. So I assume by the West, they mean America. Uh, if not, they just hadn't heard about it, I guess. But like I said, there are there's a lot of really cool, you know, features, potential features in the, in this Equipus leak. I would I would really love to see a return in future games. I mean, the, the memory link thing, being able to battle your own trainer from a previous game with your own Pokemon. Dude, that would be so cool. Of course, you then you you do have to wonder, you know, how would they choose your team? Perhaps it'd be the team you beat the the, the, the Elite Four and Champion with or the team you beat Nimona with, or the team you, you beat um, Kieran with in, in the Indigo Disc. Because if it's just the team you have in your party, you know, in, in your last Scarlet and Violet save, you could totally just cheese that by having like, you know, a level one Sunkern. And I, I don't think, if they were to do something like that, they wouldn't want it to be cheesed like that. I think the verdict on this one, definitely fake. If this Pokemon Day is anything like the last Pokemon Day, we will see a leak you know, a few days before Pokemon Day. And I am I will hope to cover that myself. So if you want to see those leaks, if you even if you don't want to see the leaks, if you want to see the updates for Pokemon Day 2024, give the little subscribe button a little... You know what I mean? Give a little... 